John Major and Tony Blair's absurd double act to stop Brexit was torn to shreds by political commentator Ross Clark, unearthed reports reveal. Tony Blair and Sir John Major have urged MPs to reject the shameful attempt to override parts of the Brexit withdrawal agreement. The two former prime ministers have accused the government of embarrassing the UK by seeking the power to change the details of the treaty agreed with the EU last year. MPs will begin debating the contentious internal market bill today. A senior minister said the ex-prime ministers weren't close to the process and the UK was in an unprecedented situation. Writing in the Sunday Times, Sir John and Mr Blair said the government's actions were irresponsible, wrong in principle and dangerous in practice. They added, it raises questions that go far beyond the impact on Ireland, the peace process and negotiations for a trade deal, crucial though they are. It questions the very integrity of our nation. It is not the first time the two former leaders put their party allegiances aside to condemn Brexit and tried to stop Britain's withdrawal from the bloc. In a column for the Daily Express, political commentator Ross Clark hit out at their absurd double act, analyzing both political figures and their relationships with the EU. He wrote, John Major's central case seemed to be that the Brexit vote was not a valid reflection of the will of the people because only 37% of those who were registered to vote in the referendum voted leave, while 63% either voted remain or did not vote at all. Trying to claim all non-voters as being on one side of the argument, yours, is pathetic. Funny enough I don't recall Major making the same argument after the 1992 general election when only 32.7% of the registered electorate backed him and his party. Far from it, he insisted on staying in Downing Street until long after it became clear he had lost even the support of those who had voted for him.